Hello everyone, my name is Juan Pablo Alvarado. I'm a PhD student in the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department at Texas a and University. And I will be presenting the poster titled Model Development for Bayesian Risk Assessment and Management of Supply Chains Impacted by COVID-19 and Other Converging Threats. COVID-19 has generated disruptions in supply chains reflected in shortages and delays of supplies, but also um, in strong shifts in demand for several economic sectors. Under this disruption, the challenge is to address the social, environmental, and economic impacts on US supply chain infrastructure and identify critical nodes and processes to both protect and restore the supply chains for an uninterrupted flow of materials and supplies that are critical to homeland security. To this end, the CBTS Center of Excellence has developed a model following a Bayesian risk framework capable of assessing the impacts posed on supply chains by the aforementioned threats. The risk assessment framework and its equation shown here in the poster has three main components. We have hazard, vulnerability, and consequences. Their definitions are also included in the poster. These components are characterized by the threats, the system vulnerable to these threats, and the social, economic, or environmental impacts on the systems. As such, the model development starts with the identification of variables and processes describing the threats, such as COVID-19, but also other natural and anthropogenic threats, followed by the identification of variables and processes that describes the systems vulnerable to the threats, and also variables and processes related to the impacts and subsequent states of risk caused on the systems by the action of the threats, being those social, environmental, or economic in nature. These three components are required for a risk assessment. However, the risk assessment and framework can be expanded to risk assessment and management through the inclusion of mitigating strategies. The identification of these strategies is the final step for the model. These steps were supported by an extensive literature review, and then the model was pre-validated using a series of case studies. Here, we can see the minimum conceptual model. This minimum conceptual model is the smallest representation that includes the variables, processes, and cause-effect relationships. In the image, nodes for natural and anthropogenic threats are included, as well as a node for the zoonotic disease spillover that includes the spread of COVID-19. The vulnerable systems considered are the community health, the health system infrastructure, the health of the workforce, and also the supply chain. The supply chain is disaggregated in, their main, in its main entities being supplier or vendor, manufacturer, retailer, customer, and also the logistics operator. The model also includes the social, environmental, and economic states of risk alongside the mitigating strategies working on the three main components of the risk frame. The insert shows the complete model where we can see the complexity of the processes model and we have here identified 365 different variables. Here below, we find another risk assessment and management model for the case where the entities of the supply chain are in multiple geographic regions. And as such, they are subjected to different threats or different intensities of those threats. Once again, we have an insert of the complete model. This time we have close to 1100 different variables. In this project, a patient network model for risk assessment and management was developed using an innovative risk framework. And this model captures the, in a graphical way the cause effect relationships between complex processes that can change both in space and time and that are needed for the assessment of the states of risk posed by COVID-19 and other converging threats. Additionally, the model developed will serve as a guide for evidence collection and a subsequent qualitative risk assessment and management that supports actionable decision making for protecting the US supply chain infrastructure. Also, very important going forward, the proposed methodology, including the risk mapping and the mitigating strategies, can be applied to other threats and other systems of relevance for the Department of Homeland Security. Finally, I would like to point you all towards this QR code at the bottom of the poster that will take you to a dedicated website with more information about the research team and the research activities performed. Thank you for your time and for your attention.